we are going to be talking about cancer in African Americans. I can tell you that I feel a lot of sadness because of the death of George Floyd and how that horrific crime happened, which has led to all the protests and the rioting that is going on throughout our entire country right now. The peaceful protests are amazing to see, and I'm so proud of our peaceful Americans that are willing to step out and do this and to try to make a difference through their voices heard. So cancer and African Americans is a topic that goes a lot deeper than just race. It is also at a place where I think there's a whole systemic issue going on with our health care and there is great challenges and changes that need to happen within that. I have wanted to kind of do this video for a little bit and I wanted to get the most recent statistics. And so I'm gonna read off about six bullet points from the US Health and Human Services Division of the US government. And this bit of information, I'll put a link below to this webpage so you can see what I'm talking about, has for not only cancer in African-American men and women, but also their life expectancy and how that actually affects that too because of these numbers. I'm going to read this this top page here just so that it can kind of, I can convey it as best as I can because statistics are a tough one for me to remember. And I believe that this is really important. African-Americans have the highest mortality rate of any racial and ethnic group for all cancers combined and for most major cancers. Death rates for all major causes of death are higher for African Americans than non-Hispanic whites, contributing in part to a lower life expectancy for both African American men and African American women. From 2012 to 2016, African American men were 1.2 times and 1.7 times respectively more likely to have new cases of colon and prostate cancer as compared to non-Hispanic white men. African American men were 1.7 times as likely to have stomach cancer as compared to non-Hispanic white men and 2.5 times more likely to die from stomach cancer. African American men have lower five-year cancer survival rates for most cancer sites as compared to non-Hispanic white men. African American men are twice as likely to die from prostate cancer as compared to non-Hispanic white men. From 2012 to 2016, African American women were just as likely to have been diagnosed with breast cancer. However, they were almost 40% more likely to die from breast cancer as compared to non-Hispanic white women. African American women are twice as likely to be diagnosed with stomach cancer, and they are 2.2 times as likely to die from stomach cancer as compared to non-Hispanic white women. Now those statistics are frustrating for the fact that Everything is just that much higher for our friends and our brothers and sisters. And it kind of makes me wonder the reasoning and the reasons why African Americans have a higher rate of not only mortality, but also in diagnoses. And it makes me wonder what else is going on now. Is it access to care? Is it cost? Is it hereditary? There's all these things that I think are, are really important and most likely are all factored into this, but this is just stuff that I you know have read quickly to get a little bit of a conversation going because I do believe there needs to be some reform within our health system. I don't know exactly how that needs to happen, but I just know that our leaders on both sides of the aisle are really dropping the ball when it comes to being able to take care of our African American family, you know, and it's really troubling to me to know that those rates are are worse off than than the you know rest of us that are are not in the middle of the strife and the anguish that are that are happening right now with our uh, extended family. So I don't really know exactly how to solve this problem. All I know is that these numbers show that there is a problem and it makes it even harder for our brothers and sisters to be able to fight their, you know, the, the issues that they have, you know, and these numbers contribute to the lower life expectancy. 
I don't believe that anyone should ever have to go through this horrible disease. Any part of it. It sucks knowing that there's a group of people out there that are dealing with cancer in a much harder light than even myself. And this is, this is not a journey that I wish upon anyone. So I wanted to share these statistics because I think these are really, really important. And I believe that we need to do something about it. And whether that is straight up healthcare reform, big, major healthcare reform, or something to a new system, again, I don't have the right answer for that. But to be able to start dropping these numbers so that they're not having to deal with it, I don't know. You know, this is, this is where it's really tough. I wish I had had a good answer to share with you for how to fix this, but these statistics are just, they're disturbing to me and it should be disturbing to anyone else, especially those that are newly diagnosed. So whether this is, you consider this bringing some light to information that isn't being brought to, you know, share this with your friends and and your colleagues and let them know because this is a way to help bring some more awareness to the public that really needs to know what the numbers are, you know. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informative and I appreciate your time and energy into watching it and I will see you on the next video.